so far, usually in between each of the main acts, there's some weird little like interlude interaction. You might have like Professor Alderby. I think we're still waiting for him to show up since Jaya mentioned that. But in the first time it was, um, it was Nathan having the loop day and we had to answer all of his questions. We, we killed him. We made him take the cyanide tablet. Um, the most recent one was Jaya in the dream sequence telling us that we need to tell everybody to stop. We need to get them all to stop doing their crazy superpowers. And before that, I don't remember who that one was. Anyway, here we go. Let's see what we're going to get this time. Yes, I am sure. You said you'd help me with my problem, but he's still here. What? Okay, cool. Black and white Mariana. Hello? Mariana? Let's concentrate on the problem, shall we, Doctor? Who is still here? Dr. Decker. He wants me to kill people. What? Decker? Kill people? He wants them to follow me. To the sea. To the creature. The creature? It eats them. It's getting stronger. Dr. Decker says when it's strong enough, it's going to walk again. That's why I black out. Why do you black out? He doesn't want me to know. He doesn't want me to remember. I'm feeding a beast that wants to eat us all. You've got to tell me, Doctor. You have got to tell me the truth. Is this a dream right now? Are these all dreams? Are these the dreams we have each night between the different days? Did we dream murdering Nathan with the cyanide tablet only to have another loop day? You're dreaming, but your dreams are the truth. Don't forget me when you wake. I don't know how I'm in your dream, but now we're together. Let's play a game. Okay, well, hmm. She did just say this is a dream. So, so far we've dreamed about being tied up by Jaya, and now we're dreaming about Mariana. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, all right. A game? I say a word, you say a word. Ready? Guilty. What word do we say? What do we say? What's our follow-up to guilty? Probably innocent would be my guess, I'm assuming. Do we have a hint here? Yeah, the game just says we should say innocent also. Fine game, we'll go with the obvious one. Oh, we can follow up on the truth maybe. There's an asterisk there still. Murderer. Mariana or Claire? I think Claire is the murderer. Jay is a murderer. I think they're all murderers. Everybody except Bryce. He doesn't seem the murdery type. Give me a second, let me grab my tea here. Ugh. 
Christ may not be the murderer type yet, but he could very easily get there. That is also true. He seems like the type who would give in pretty easily to peer pressure. If we just told him everybody else is murdering, then, uh, you know, he'd probably get into it. Murderer. Jay, uh... That's a good doctor. Now, just give me those three little words and I'll let you go. Well, Oi Evil Eye is uh, <clears throat> it added to our notes. Is this a dream? Always the pretty ones that are the slowest. You think I'm pretty? You're disappointing me. The longer it takes for you to get to the bottom of this, the more people will die. I want to follow up on the this one right here. You're dreaming, but your dreams are the truth. Don't forget me when you wake. I don't know how I'm in your dream, but now we're together. Let's play a game. How are you in my dream? You know what I want. Focus. I know we're supposed to say I love you to her. I get that. But I want to know what this is. There's an asterisk here on the truth and I want to follow up on that and I don't think we can. Also, hello, it gets too real. Welcome back. I don't think the game will let me follow up on that. I don't think we can. I want to do that, though. I want to do that. Why can't I do that? Game, why? Why are you doing this? Hmm. about the truth so your dream it'll just take us back to this uh fine just we'll just say it. we'll just say it. we'll just say i love you we'll just say i love you yes yes you do okay we got over that one you're dreaming but your dreams are the truth don't forget me when you wake i don't know how i'm in your dream but now we're together. Let's play a game. I won't forget you. She's not here anymore. She's gone, right? Yeah, she's gone. Dang. That's the only asterisk that we'll never solve. Can we get a hint here? Ah, oh, game. I hate you. Why are you doing this to me? You're taunting me. You're teasing me. We can't do it. It's gone. That's it. The end. Fine. You rang my doorbell. The truck driver. The little girl. Killed himself. David is weird. If she's watching me. I need to put David. Molly. Out of his misery. Is it okay to steal things? Beeping tablets. Fingerprints. Dead bodies. I saw Jessica. Should I kill David? Hilda died last night. Do you think I should tell her about psychokinetics? The photos. Dr. Deckard seemed to like a drink. Bit of a drinking problem. It's probably the same for Jaya. One of his patients was trying to kill him. He lent me some money. Leaving him messages. Creature. Human flesh. I'd teleported. Do you have that dream, Doctor? <laughs> Insanity, please. Well. Oh! <sighs> Jaya. Oh, doctor. You look... Huh. There's something I need to tell you. I can't...
can't find Dr. Decker's prescription pad anywhere. I'm not sure when it went missing, but I don't remember seeing it for a while. Yours is there, but I'm scared one of the patients may have got their hands on it. Let me know if you find it anyway, and ask me about Mariana later. I've got news. What? Why? What? Uh... The one that had the murder notes on it's missing now? Yeah, and the one that would let people prescribe or like write a prescription for Tamazepam if they could draw a letter D. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, that one. I don't want to talk to Mariana. She freaked me out a little. Does it still say I love you in my notes? It does. His prescription pad is missing. We should ask the patients about it. And the death threats that Nathan said were on it. Yeah, there's also... There's that. Yep. Okay. Uh, dice. Who are we going to ask first? Three. Elin. We'll meet with Elin first. She just looks crazy. I'm good. I feel better. Last session. That was all negative. I don't want to be like that. I made you something. A little thank you for being so nice. Oh no, she's gonna poison me. They're cookies. No, don't do it, don't take it. Oh no, she's trying to kill me. Ethan's trying to kill me. Her crazy drugs and, oh my gosh. Uh, cookies. The usual stuff, flour, sugar, butter, chocolate chips. Herbs. And my special ingredient. Yeah. A little herbalist magic to give you some pep. You look like you need it. Yeah, she's trying to kill me. We've, we've been asking too many questions. Uh, special ingredient? You can put herbal remedies in food. The effect's more subtle, but it does work. She's murdering her patients by putting crap in their food, taking them off their meds. <sighs> um, how is Terry, your nemesis? I don't really have anything to say. Cool. Terry's dead. Um. Oh. We'll just ask with the prescription pad. We'll just start with that. What about the prescription pad? The pad is missing. Yes, I took it. What? I had to. Why? W okay, that was... <laughs> that was way easier than I thought it would be. We found the prescription pad, everybody. Uh, why did you take the pad? Dr. Decker told me he could use it to take away my gift. How could he take away your gift? Maybe he was just winding me up, I don't know. But he said that he could write a prescription and whatever he wrote on it would be true. Like he could write, Ealing can no longer shift. And that would be it, I wouldn't be able to shift anymore. See, okay, I think this ties back into Decker's role as being the psychokinetic person who was supposed to, like, shut down everybody else's psychokinetics. So he would, he was doing this. We know that he killed the quantum, or, like, he, he shut down the quantum gambling guy. Can 
I have the pad back. Please. Sorry, Doctor, I'm trying. What about the prescription pad? Did you write death threats? Someone was sending Dr. Decker death threats. I had no idea. Yeah, it was you. You never said anything to me about it. Because it was you. You knew that whatever was written on the pad was true, so you, you were writing death threats. Dr. Decker's going to die, hoping that it would work for you, too. A terrible person. Um... Still think Clara Jaya is the murderer. Elon took the pad. Hmm... Um, last session. I'm a happy person. And really, what's the point of being miserable? It doesn't matter what's going on at work or anything. Happy is the only goal. Max told me that. I think some footballer might have said it. How is Max? I told you about Max, right? Didn't I mention him before? Um. I'm good. I feel oh, how's work, maybe? How is work? Sorry, I don't... Feeling better. Um. Yes. You have mentioned Max. Yes, but you don't know the whole story. Max is 77. He was one of my patients. What? I thought he was dying, so I shifted for him. What? Came an old sweetheart of his, apparently. Only Max didn't die. He actually got better somehow. And then he came and asked me to do it again. Isn't Max the guy that she went on a date with, though, on Valentine's Day? Uh, Max got better? I don't know why Max didn't die. It usually works. What usually works? Wait. It usually works. She's killing them. I'm not sure. What's usual? Why don't you check your notes? Oh. Did you shift again for him? What do you mean? Yes, but you don't know the whole story. Max is 77. He was one of my patients. I thought he was dying, so I shifted for him. Came an old sweetheart of his, apparently. Only Max didn't die. He actually got better somehow. And then he came and asked me to do it again. His sweetheart. Eleanor, her name was, or is. Like I say, he doesn't even know where she is now. But she obviously still loves him. When I shifted, I felt all fluttery and excited. It's so sweet, isn't it? She really is a gold digger. She's, she is taking stuff from old people and killing them off. And this time she didn't kill him. Eleanor? Yes, Max and Eleanor had dinner on Valentine's Day. I felt a bit weird when he asked me, but he said he just wanted to have one more date with her and then he wouldn't ask me again. And to be fair, he was a perfect gentleman. I mean, I didn't want to have that conversation. Okay, orange on Elin. What on 
earth have what conversation? The I don't sleep with 77 year old men conversation, of course. Mm. I don't know. All right, what else we got here, game? Did you kill Dr. Decker? Thank you for bringing me the present. Why did you shift from Max? What do you mean by usually works? See, I was asking about this. This is what I... Uh, I asked this like three different ways. I just mean when I shift. They see their loved one and say what they have to say. And then there's nothing stopping them from moving on. Why? What did you think I meant? Did you kill Decker? I could never hurt anyone. You have to believe me, Doctor. Did you try to kill Max? Why did you shift again? Thing is, because Max didn't die, he saw me change back after I let go of his hand. There wasn't anything I could do about it. Okay, thank you for the cookies. You're very welcome. Aw, it pays to be polite. Why did Decker want to take away your gift? I suppose he was just trying to cure me. I mean, I thought he believed that I could shift, but maybe he didn't. Maybe he was just humoring me the whole time. Hint. <laughs> Are the cookies poisoned? No. What do you think I am? Fine. Don't eat them then. I was just trying to be nice. Thank you for the cookies. Thank you for the, the poison murder cookies. I'm good. I feel better. Last session... That was all negative. I don't want to be like that. I made you something. A little thank you for being so nice. They're cookies. Did you make cookies for Decker? Nope. I just mean when I shift. They see their loved one and say what. I thought you meant murder. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to say that. I don't know how the game wants me to say that. <sighs> and. Okay, fine. Seven seconds. I would sip my tea, but it is still too hot. Hint. Have you ever... Yes, she has. She did it for her date. She just said that. But fine game. I'll ask it anyway. The only time I've shifted outside work was with Max. Oh, and here. With Dr. Decker. Yeah, but that didn't work with Decker. What was wrong with Max? Did you give herbs to Max? Yeah. All right, let's go talk to somebody else for a little bit. Let's go have a chat with everybody's favorite, cheerful, upbeat, equally energetic <laughs> patient, Nathan. Just as upbeat and cheerful and super positive and full of energy and pep as Elon. They're basically the same person. Doesn't he just look happy to be here? 
I think you know who killed Dr. Decker. I think you did. So you're gonna have a good day. Can we talk a bit about hypnotism, though? Who killed Decker? This might feel like the darkest timeline, but it's not my darkest timeline. I didn't kill Dr. Decker. I'd look at one of your other patients, or maybe even your assistant. Yeah, I still think that it might have been Jaya. Hypnotism. I've heard you can plant key words in people when they're hypnotized. How would I know if I had any? I think that the hypnotism didn't take, but maybe Dr. Decker did hypnotize me, and it did work, and he told me to think that it didn't. I think I found one of the key words. I don't know how I feel about pursuing this. Alright. Um, oh man. So, like a double hypnotism conspiracy? You were hypnotized. And then hypnotized into thinking the first hip or like the other hypnosis didn't take. Oh my gosh, it's the girl. Oh my gosh, it's Molly. What is she doing here? Look, what? That's not Nathan. That was Molly. What? 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 Oh my gosh, we are seeing things. I just saw Molly. That doesn't mean anything. Key word. I can't say what it is. I don't want to trigger it. I was on the phone to my dad last night, and he said something, and boom, I fell asleep. <laughs> Normally I wish that kind of thing would happen, but it just happened. I phoned him back, I thought it was seconds, but it was an hour later. I asked him what he'd said. He'd watched some NASA program. He was reading off planets. It was one of them. Oh no, oh no, we're gonna have to go through all the planets. <sighs> um, have you seen the prescription pad? His prescription pad's missing. The one with all the death threats on it. Do you think the murderer took it to cover their tracks? You think it's Neptune? No, I think it's his butt. I think it's Uranus. Or Uranus. Knights Tempest, what's going on? How are you doing? Good to see you. Um, hide their tracks. I suppose it could be a coincidence, but I'm guessing whoever murdered Dr. Decker stole his prescription pad. Uh, death threats. I've got nothing. Nope, he's got nothing. <laughs> we can just start guessing planet names. How are things with Mariana? Things have been interesting. Ugh. Thanks to Mariana. Mm. Interesting how. We went on a date. What well, sort of? She texted me this bar she was going to, and I just turned up. She can dance. I was transfixed most of the night. Next thing I know, I'm lying in my bed, at home. The room's spinning. The day moved forward. In fact, every night I go and watch Mariana dance, the day moves forward. Oh no. Do you think Mariana likes me? Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I don't... Oh man, I feel like we need to go talk to Mariana. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, no. Ow. How do you feel about Hannah? I'm at peace with Hannah now. I can save her. And I'll keep trying, but I must move forward. I did kind of ask you not to talk about this anymore, but I suppose you're not taking notes. <laughs> I suppose you're not taking notes. And something goes into my notes. Nathan, clearly, I am taking notes. Um, I still think it's Clara Jaya. 
I don't know. Let I mm, let's ask Mariana how she feels about Nathan. <laughs> We're just kind of bouncing around. Here. Oh, let's spend enough time. Let's go ask Elon for a hint. What? Do you kill your? I was trying to get at that, but whatever. Fine. You think I kill my patients? I thought you knew me. Oh, you're worse than Terry. Mind you, I shouldn't speak ill of her. Because you killed her too. There's still, there's no follow-up there. All right, why would Decker want to take away your gift? She killed Dr. Decker, right? Like, we know that. We think that. Did she kill Decker? I could never hurt anyone. Yeah. What are her notes on her... Okay, she does have a motive, because Decker wanted to remove power. Um, she would need a prescription. Um, did you forge? Decker's signature. I don't know. Can you write the letter D? I'm actually starting to wonder if maybe Elon is the murderer. No, because we've we we know that her alibi checks out, so she's not the murderer. She wouldn't have had enough time to murder and then also be on a, on the pier on a date. But if she was shifted, I don't know how long she was shifted. Or if she shifted through the date, I don't know what happened there. Oh man, I'm second guessing everything now. <sighs> okay, we're just going to bounce around. We're I feel like we're in the final chapter and we're just going to bounce around now and talk to everybody. We'll just see what's going on. Hello? Mariana. I'm fine, Doctor. I went to the beach, swam under the sea, and returned to tell the tale. No blackouts. Nothing. How do you feel about Nathan? I don't have an answer for you. Nathan? I don't. Did you go on a date with Nathan? You'll have to How? Why? Why are you not wanting to talk about Nathan? The beach. I don't know. Pre-rip-shon pad. Why would someone steal Dr. Decker's prescription pad? I didn't even know he had one. Death threats. I prefer actions over words, Doctor. You know that. Did you kill Decker? Nope. Can't think of anything. <laughs> the Spyro Reignited games are fantastic, by the way. Interesting. I never really played Spyro growing up. I had a PS2. I didn't have a PlayStation 1. So I missed out on a lot of early PlayStation games. And I have never really gone back and played those. I think I played it like at a friend's house or something. But not not significantly. Um she's changed. Yeah, she's she's been getting darker and weirder as we've as we've progressed. And she was getting really, like, frazzled when she we told her to stay away from the beach. And now she's back. No oh, blackouts. Like I said, I've been fine. Yeah, I don't buy that. She's possessed by a creepy demon. Uh, dancing? I've done lots of dancing. Lots of clubbing. Lots of socializing. Okay. 
And she won't talk about Nathan at all. She's still barefoot, barefoot though. All right. Did you take the pad? Wow. That's a low blow, Doctor. And after all our sessions, I'm not a thief. Even alone, that was just unfortunate. Talk about the loan. Dr. Decker asked for his loan back after diagnosing me as sane. In his opinion, my blackouts and everything else were fictional. He had no proof, of course, either way, or I'd be cured, but he asked for his money back and I didn't have it. So you killed him. hit all the main points with her. I don't dream, Doctor. I haven't dreamed for years now. You just told me about the recurring dreams where you're going to the water. Wait. What? What happened to the recurring dreams about swimming at the beach? Oh my gosh, Mariana, what is your deal? Did you lie about your dreams? You dreams, your dreams. Yeah. I did say that was a dream, didn't I? Is it easier to swallow knowing it's the truth? The truth. The truth is, I'm not like you, Doctor. Or anyone else. I can swim to the bottom of the ocean for hours and people follow me even if it's the last thing they do. Oh my gosh, these people. People follow me into the sea. I don't force them, they just follow to see the creature. Oh man, the creature again. I'm not sure what you'd call it. A wisp? A star? It's so bright and warm and loving. I don't know why it leaves me. It only wants the others. feeds on them. Oh, man. When I look down, I black out. But if I can just keep looking forward, no blackouts. I can just swim back to the top when it's finished. Oh man. When it is finished. You really want to know? Yeah. If I look down, it's writhing. Just limbs of people from the clubs and the bars. Not just from this week, but last week, last month, last year. They all look terrified, but somehow still alive. The creature, it's all inside them, poking holes through them that they shouldn't have. It just eats them. Slowly.
Oh man. Oh my gosh, Mariana. Oh man. It's inside them. Holes they shouldn't have. Let's get the gory details. I've got nothing. I don't know. What do you want me to ask about, game? The missing people. That's where they go. I, I don't know I'm doing it. I swear I don't, Doctor. The creature. I hear it. It's hungry. Nobody can know. It's our secret. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why can't nobody know? It's our secret. What will you tell people? That I'm feeding people to a creature at the bottom of the ocean? Yeah. What proof do you have? All the bodies in the ocean. You can't tell on me. You know what you do to me. When you visit. I let you do it because sometimes I'm ashamed of what I've done. You make me feel like I deserve it. Like you deserve what? What do I do? I don't visit. We don't... Ah! <laughs> this game. What do I do to you? You get inside me, Doctor. And it hurts. And you don't care. I don't visit you, though. That's not... Ah! <laughs> what? Ah, missing people. All right, fine. I can't explain what happened with John. Who's John? He followed me back from the bar that night and swam with me under the ocean. I blacked out. You said you don't remember their names. He'd gone. Who was John? You must have read about John in the news. He was a local student who went missing. He was a looker. And he had a way with words, but he was also a cheat. The creature liked eating him a lot. But I can't explain what happened next. Uh, what happened next? I left him to be eaten. And the next morning, he turns up in my bed at my house. He's not wet at all. No signs he's been in the sea, but he has holes in him. Lots of holes. His inside is on the outside. Just a ball of tangled worms. And now they're blaming me, but you knew that, Doctor, didn't you? That's why I'm here. <laughs> what? Why are you here? They think I killed John. John and some others. They need to know whether I'm insane or not. So, like, the obvious, the obvious non-Lovecraftian response is 
you went on a date with this guy, found out that you just slept around, didn't like that he was cheating on you, so you killed him. The end. Filled him full of holes. Oh, man. Did you kill John? Oh, who needs to know whether or not you're insane? Yeah, who needs to know? My lawyer. He says I'm insane, but that he needs you to rubber stamp it. Do you think I'm insane, doctor? Mm. I gotta, I just, I need to just take a moment here and like step back from the game and say that I love like the character progression and just how Mariana went from just like a, a kind of bubbly, cheerful, flirty, maybe a little little uh, worried about what's going on, about her blackouts and stuff, to like this dark, evil creature that she's become. This is awesome. This is oh man, I I just I love watching all the all of this the character progression stuff has been great. This is a good game. I love this game. I can't wait to go play the second. The, uh, the shape-shifting detective. Um, do you need to know if you're insane? Did you kill John? No. The creature killed John. Did you kill Decker because of the money? Why would I do that? Dr. Decker transferred our loan agreement to Clara Castleford. She bought him out. What? I owe her the money now. What? Bam, orange with Mariana. We could theoretically be done. What? Mariana says that Claire took over the loan agreement. I am so confused. Why did the creature give John back? Um. Tell me about the loan transfer. Yes, you're insane, or no, you're not insane. Tell me about the loan transfer. I don't know why she did it, but. Dr. Decker got repaid, and now my agreement is with Claire. You should ask her. Okay. There's still more about Decker. There's still more about the loan. I guess we go ask Claire. No, you're not insane. I told you how grateful I'd be. But you need to fix my problem first. If they try me as sane, I'll be in prison for a long time. And then, how would you get your reward, Doctor? What? What reward? Why? What? Oh, man. Oh, man. What is your problem now, though? I mean, your problem is that you murdered people, but, like, you don't have blackouts or anything. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what I'm doing with Mariana. I don't know what, like, what... This has just spiraled out of control. I no longer understand. How do you know Claire? How well do you know Claire? She's the woman that took over the loan I had with Dr. Decker. Cool. Has anyone else showed up at your home? You're a naughty one, Doctor. You know you visited my home. Why do you keep denying it? I don't know that. I did not visit you at home. Don't you remember? That's a shame. You had fun. What did we do? If you can't remember, I'm certainly not going to enlighten you. Why not? 
I mean, okay, in the dreams I said I love you to her, and so I feel like I'm going to have to do that again at some point, but... Uh, no, I'm not going to use a hint on her. Let's go back and get a hint on Elan, because I'm still trying to finish off her mess. Oh, did she actually kill Max? Did you lie about Max dying? Why would I think that? What did, do we have anything else to follow up on her with? I don't know why Max didn't die. It usually works. Are you lying? Did he actually die? No, that's right. Shifting does only work when someone is near death. But Max is dying. I mean, he didn't die when he was my patient, but he's still ill. Terminal, you know. Okay, that's the end of, did Max get better? Yeah, okay, that's the end of that. <laughs> These are the most interconnected people, one of the places that's supposed to have the least connections. Yeah, they're, I, yeah, <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is really interesting. Maybe he was just winding me up, I don't know. But he said that he could write a prescription and whatever he wrote on it would be true. Um... Did he or did Decker write anything on anything else on his pad? How could Decker make things true? You never met Dr. Decker. He could make the craziest things sound true. And he showed me some of the notes he'd written. Wait, I think I've got one here. Oh, don't do it. It's going to be murder. She's going to kill me. Here. See? Oh, man. Elon, you're creepy as hell. Sarah Decker will die tomorrow, and you will help her through it. What? Why? Why don't you check your notes? Um... I'm we already asked about Sarah Decker, didn't we? Not today. Alright, well the only thing we had to follow up on is just when we said hello. I'm good. I feel better. Last session. That was all negative. I don't want to be like that. We asked about her last session, and then she made us cookies. Negative? Why were you negative? Did Max give you any gifts? Ah, I don't know what to ask. And. Did you make cookies for Terry? Are the cookies what you used to kill people? I only make cookies for people I like, Doctor. She's killing people with the cookies. There it is. She she drugs up the cookies, and that's how she's killing people. All right, we're done with Elin. That's the end of that. Elin, done. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. We were also talking to Nathan, weren't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He asked, uh... We gotta figure out his keyword, and do, do we think Mariana likes him? Yes, Mariana absolutely likes you. Thanks, Doctor. That's what I'm hoping. We'll go back to Mariana here in a, in a bit. Interesting. Things have been interesting. We went on a date. Um... Tell me about your date. I can't tell you anything. Uh, did you go to the beach? What are you trying to get me to say? Mm. 
I don't, I don't, I, oh, I don't want to do that. His prescription pad's missing. The one with all the death threats on it. Do you think the murderer took it to cover their tracks? Cover their tracks? Oh, we already talked about that. His prescription pad's missing. Dang it. The one with all the death threats on it. Do you think the murderer took it to cover their tracks? No, I do not think the murderer took the pad. Cool. Yeah, Mariana told him that she was going to dance at a, at a nightclub. And he just showed up and blacked out and woke up at home. But Mariana won't talk about Nathan at all. Nathan won't do anything. Um, all right. Do we just go in order? I don't want it to be triggered. No. Sorry. Okay, not the moon. Mars? Uranus? Neptune? It's not Neptune. Saturn? Pluto? Pluto's not a planet, is it? And why are you even trying? <laughs> Jupiter. Welcome back. Question after... Where did you just go? I don't know. I don't know either. What just happened? Notes. You just went into a spoop, spoopy trance. So he did plant me with something. I have absolutely no idea. Did you find out what the key word is? What is it? No. Don't say it. Write it down for me. And thank you. You know, there's something I've not been telling you. Jeez, what are you not telling me? It's about time travel. What? Is he doing the loop days on purpose? Is that what this is? Time travel? I read a book about time travel. I thought what was happening to me was a type of time travel. I couldn't control it, but at the end of each day, I would travel back in time to the beginning and live it over again. I'm like Doctor Who, but I don't have a TARDIS and I can't choose what time I go to. Except once. Doctor Who? You ask a lot of good questions. TARDIS? I don't think I know. Do you want a TARDIS? No. Is your house bigger on the inside? Question. Okay. Um. You chose where you could go? The doctor said she was legally still alive. The only thing they could do was starve her. Hannah didn't die in the accident the first time around. It was worse than death. She wouldn't have wanted that. I was looking at a photo from around the time of the accident. I had a lot of alcohol, which I think was probably necessary. I jumped back to the junction. I started pulling out, but the lorry was already on us. I drove into the lorry to make sure. I didn't wake up in hospital because I woke up the next day, present day. Things had changed. So 
So it wasn't a car accident. He full on murdered his fiance, who was going to call off the engagement because she'd fallen out of love with him. Oh, man. Oh, man. Really? What? Duh. Things were different. How? I don't know. Well, that doesn't help. What was different? I don't think I... You just said it! I don't know. Yeah. What changed? Her obituary changed in the press clippings I kept. It said she was killed instantly. Nothing else changed. Her family seemed to hate me more. Which is ironic, because the first time around, they pulled her off life support. So I saved them the indignity. Now they just think it's my careless driving that caused her death. Alright, well that's orange on Nathan now. Why didn't he just avoid the accident? Because he told us that when he found out that she was going to break off the engagement, he wouldn't undo the accident. If he had the chance to do it again, he would do it again. He would kill her. And we also had like Molly show up creepily here on the couch for a minute. This is awesome. Why did you lie about Panna being on life support? I haven't been lying. As far as everyone's concerned, she died in that car accident. Instantly. And why didn't you drive away? I didn't have time. I jumped back to the split second the accident happened. The truck was already on us. I swerved left the first time, so I tried right. If I could have saved her, I would have done. I didn't want her to die. Yeah, you did. There she is. Look, there she is. There she is again. That was Hannah. Or not Hannah. That was Molly. That was the little girl. That was the, the truck driver's girl. Would you really have... Saved her? I've tried, but I can't do it. To be honest, nowadays, I'm more interested in moving forwards. Oh, man. Have you done other time? No, time travel won't work. Um. Hint me. Did you take the pad? No, I didn't take the prescription pad. Why is it such a big issue? Who'd want it? Do you think the killer wrote out a prescription for Tamazepan, faked Dr. Decker's signature, and got it made up? Maybe. But I'm already on Tamazepan, Doctor. I wouldn't need all that drama. Hmm. Hmm. Man, so I didn't know, I I mean, okay, Elon's alibi I'm now really concerned with because I'm wishing that we could go back and rewatch some of the videos from like earlier chapters. <sighs> okay, all right, fine. Um, who else would we, who else would we talk to? Oh, Mariana. Do we have more to follow up on with her? If you can't remember, I'm certainly not going to enlighten you. I do not remember. Can you remember what you did? No, what did I do? I don't have- No, I do not remember what I did. I didn't do it. I've got nothing. <laughs> um, did you take the pad? We already asked that. Okay. Bouncing between the different people, it's a lot harder to keep track of what's going on here. You get inside. I get inside you? You watch me undress. You say nothing, but still... You order it just like Dr. Decker did. This is getting creepy. I strip. Very uncomfortable. Ashamed. As I lie down, you bend over me. Your face. 
so horrible, like worms crawling with jaws like pythons. And you bury into me. I lay there frozen while you violate me, punishing me. I'm not sick. <laughs> Totes mad. All right, thank you for the tonal whiplash of the achievements. Thank, thanks, game. That's great. Holy crap! She has a thing about worms. She has like a traumatic worm thing. Uh... I left him to be eaten, and the next morning, he turns up. How did John get into your bed? Worms? I don't have... Uh. <sighs> we got Nathan also. Man, this is rough. Let's go just say hi to Claire and then ask her about the loan. Hi, Claire. <laughs> I'm fine. Hi, Claire. I killed David. Again? Again. Okay. Like you told me to. Yay, you're a double murderer. Do you know Mariana? I don't really know the girl, but I did buy out her loan from Dr. Decker. I mainly did it to shut him up about it. But can you imagine having him as a creditor? That poor girl. I hope it didn't accrue anything more than interest. Um. Okay, I was hoping that would make something available to deal with Mariana. Oh, man. I right, let's get a hint for Nathan. When did you go back to the accident? The day before Valentine's Day. I was looking at pictures of Hannah and it just happened. The next day for me was Valentine's Day. Present day. What was he doing on Valentine's Day? He was at church um, talking about his dead fiance with one of the archaeology students. Uh, um, do you dance? Do you ask all your patients that? Or just the pretty ones? Just the pretty ones. I can't tell you anything. He seems pretty depressed and morbid and like not a great person. Um. Uh. Do you know how you got home? You ask a lot of. Uh, the room was spinning. That doesn't mean. Nope. Okay. No idea what to follow up on when, with his non-date with Mariana. I read a book about time travel. Ooh, book about time travel. Book about time travel. What book did you read? I read nothing. What was the name of the book? What are you trying to get me to say? Book. I read nothing. <laughs> okay, fine. You're not very helpful, Nathan. I read a book about time travel. I thought what was happening to me was a type of time travel. I couldn't control it, but at the end of each day, I would travel back in time to the beginning and live it over again. I'm like Doctor Who, but I don't have a TARDIS, and I can't choose what time I go to. Except once. 
have you tried going to other times? Question. Mm, I have no idea. I thought you said you couldn't time travel. I don't even remember that from the first session, but sure. We just met. I chose not to tell you I traveled back in time. Sorry. If I could turn back time, Doctor. If I could find a way. I like that that just cut off. That's cool. Great. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> All right. How, how about your non-date with Mariana? We went on a date. Oh, where? Where did you go with Mariana? Where did you go? What are you trying to... What club? No. What... Night club. What bar? That doesn't. Ah! <laughs> All right, fine. We went on a date. What well, sort of? She texted me this bar she was going to, and I just turned up. She can dance. I was transfixed most of the night. Next thing I know, I'm lying in my bed at home. The room's spinning. The day moved forward. In fact, every night I go and watch Mariana dance. The day moves forward. Do you think Mariana likes me? <sighs> um, have you... Let's try transfixed, maybe? How many times have you watched her dance? When did you go on a date? You ask a lot of good... Game. Hint. Night. Oh, we told him to stay away from Mariana. Well, no, we didn't have a follow-up. Was that here? Oh, no, that was maybe maybe in the last session. Man, this all just kind of blurs together at this point. Mariana might be a killer. Wow. I think you're just jealous, Doctor. I mean, if Mariana really was killing people, I'm pretty sure you'd have to contact the authorities. I mean, that's what you do, isn't it? Okay, green with Nathan. All right, well, there we go. Cool. All right. Green with Nathan. That's something. So we've got, we've got, oh man, I don't want to follow up with Mariana anymore. This is getting not great. I'm fine, doctor. I went to the beach, swam under the sea, and returned to tell the tale. No blackouts. Nothing. talk to Marianne anymore. This is creepy. Uh, why did... Uh, Claire buy out the loan? There's something else about the loan. I don't know. Can we, can we do a hint? Are you still hot and Thirsty. No, I've not been thirsty. Not since I went back to the sea. Are you hot? Are you cold? I don't know about that. Uh, when did you go back to the sea? Dr. Decker, 
Oh. Um. He. She was diagnosed as sane? I thought there wasn't a prognosis. Dr. Decker was a hack. Here we go. You're special. You're good at your job. You know I have problems. So is she just, like, really laying it on thick because she doesn't want to go to jail? He was a hack? There are similarities, but you're not the dead doctor. Are you feeling okay? I still think we might actually be Dr. Decker. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna ask her about John some more and this. It's our secret. What will you tell people that I'm feeding people to a creature at the bottom of the ocean? What proof do you have? You can't tell on me. You know what you do to me. When you visit. I let you do it because sometimes I'm ashamed of what I've done. You make me feel like I deserve it. I don't want to follow up on this anymore. Um, so maybe proof? Maybe proof is a thing. Proof that she has a weird sea creature. Why do you think you deserve it? It's my fault they're all dying. They're following me. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so we gotta we're gonna have to ask him about we're gonna have to ask her about John. What happened next? I left him. Oh, do we ask how John could get, no, um, his insides, his insides were on his outside. That's an interesting analogy, Doctor. You think I'm making this up? I don't know what words I said or how that worked, but, okay, we're done with Mariana. Thank Goodness. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was it. We're done. Okay. Jeez. Oh, this chapter's been... Oof. This chapter's been rough. 